LEGO Worlds is an incredible game. It's like having an endless bucket of LEGOs. You can build a huge castle or a small house in the clouds. Learn how to design and create your own world with me in this tutorial series. Become a master designer slash builder. In this series, you'll learn how to design and build many different architectural styles. We'll cover lighting, furnishing, and decorating interior and exterior spaces. We'll build castles, dungeons, bridges, skyscrapers, and even a spaceship. So get your game ready and follow along. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Designing and Building in LEGO Worlds. I'm Brandon. This is Max. <laughs> So today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Normally, I cut out all the boring parts and I cut out all the times where I'm like meh, 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 and stuff like that and I speed everything up, but I am very limited on time this week because I'm actually leaving early tomorrow morning to head to VidCon in California, but I did not want you guys to go an entire week without an episode of designing and building in LEGO World, so we're here. It may not be the prettiest thing in the world, <laughs> and I may say some silly things and won't be able to cut them out, but it's okay. We're going to have a good time, and Max is going to have a great time. And right now, Max is up above the hotel that we're building, and you guys, look how amazing it looks. It looks incredible. So we're going to fly around the hotel just a little bit, and we're going to talk about what we want to do to the roof here, because you guys, we are almost done. I know I said that we would be done in this episode, but honestly, I think I was just being a little bit too ambitious because there is still uh, quite a bit more to do. We have some things to fix, like some chairs that are in the wrong place and some doors, but also we have a lot of work to do on the roof. So we won't get done in this episode, but we will continue to work. And then next week we will actually finish the hotel. So. Not too much longer now, and it's gonna be done, and it's gonna be incredible. So Max, why don't you hop off of this helicopter thingy, and let's go inside the hotel here. And, ooh, oh, you broke the uh, helicopter. I think Agent Chase is not going to be very happy about that because that was Agent Chase's uh, secret agent helicopter. Oh, these troublemakers. I swear, all they do is harass you. Come here, give me that golden apple. <laughs> give me that golden apple. All right, guys, so, oh, there's a pink dragon down here. Great, hey, buddy, you stuck? All right, well, don't blow any fire at me. We don't want to damage the building here. So let's go into Max's point of view here. And let's check this out. Oh, you guys, it's sunset. And it's beautiful, look at this. So we are going to try to copy and paste as much as possible so we can save some time uh, building the roof. And what we wanna do is change up the architecture a little bit on uh, like the upper level here as we build up. And then of course we're going to build a rooftop patio and uh, greenhouse garden area. So Max, why don't you go ahead and get your build tool out and let's get started. So we're gonna use the eight by 16 plate in white and we're just going to create a ceiling on the top here uh, so that we have a nice ceiling covering the units up here. So let's go ahead and get these placed. We're going to place them inside the walls here because we don't want them to sit on top of the bricks here because it will interfere with the rest of the building. So let's go ahead and turn our overlap tool on and let's get this filled in. Sweet, you guys, that looks awesome. Let's go ahead and continue filling in the lobby and the other set of hotel rooms.
All right, now that the entire roof is laid, I definitely wanted to at least speed that part up for you guys because that took a little while, <laughs> several minutes to do, and uh, skipping it like that helped save some time. So, <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the corners here. Oh, another troublemaker. Oh man, okay, let's just get him. Otherwise he's gonna be sticking his tongue out at us the entire time. Oh, where did he go? Oh, okay, well I guess that's as good as uh, any way to get rid of him. He's gone, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the corner here and let's just see, ooh, good thing Max isn't afraid of heights. Oh my gosh. And let's just look at the different options that we have available to us for uh, building here. All right, so we want to cap off these uh, columns um, on the corners here and along the walls. But before we do that, let's go ahead and build a layer of bricks along the whole outside of the wall here, because that way we can build the corner, the edges of the columns here up so that they kind of go into the wall. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so this is how we're going to cap each of the columns with these cool slope pieces and some of the uh, the pyramid shaped one by one brick pieces. So let's go ahead and copy those and place them on each of our columns. That should save us quite a bit of time if we use the copy tool. So let's see here, let's go ahead and grab this. All right, now we can copy and paste this to each of the corners to save some time. And that looks really cool. Now we can go ahead and place the copies that sit on top of the columns here. Okay, that's looking pretty awesome. So the other thing we could have done, uh, live and learn, to save even more time would have been to copy an entire, uh, like a whole floor, a whole section of these uh, columns and then paste them over there. But hey, you know, you learn, you learn as you go and you learn what works faster. <laughs> so the next thing we wanna do is to create uh, this right here. We wanna recreate this section right here um, by adding um, a couple of two by 16 uh, bricks across along the entire perimeter of the outside of the building. <laughs> Jeez, that was hard to say. All right, so we got the music turned back on. It was uh, definitely too quiet. And we're gonna go ahead and line the whole building edge with these two by 16 bricks. And we're going to turn on overlap because we may end up using the overlap to fill in some of those extra spaces along the outside edge. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. I've had so much fun designing and building in this game. It's a lot of work, but you know what? I feel like I'm finally <laughs> getting used to the building controls and how the building works. Um, and you know, really, once you get into your groove, you can really do things uh, pretty quickly, you know? And especially if you make better use of the copy and paste tool, and you can really go crazy. So what we might do actually is build an entire um, section of these and then just copy the whole section and paste it to the other side because that would probably save some time. So you can see right down there, we've got the courtyard in front of the hotel and we have the police station and the fire station. And we're going to build a uh, bank down there too and also a town hall 
And then we also have a school to build and a hospital to build. We have so many cool things that we want to build. So we're going to do all that in the future. Max is going to do some pretty amazing things. And if you guys are watching our other series, uh, Let's Play Lego Worlds, then then you'll see that we're also building uh, Lego Jurassic World in that series. And it's pretty amazing. In the next episode, uh, we're going to build the Raptor Arena. And we're going to try to... I don't know if it's going to work. Um, probably not. But we're going to try to train some raptors and get them to, to do some things. So we'll see. I don't think it's going to work because you can't... <laughs> You really can't train the animals in this game to do anything. That'd be really cool. If you're watching TT games, then it'd be cool if there was some way to teach the animals tricks and add a lot of depth to the game. Um, it'd be cool. So yeah, so you guys get on that. <laughs> I'm getting more and more excited for the Survivor DLC and I really hope that comes out soon because it would be so cool. I think it'd be really neat to play as a pirate have them crash land on an island somewhere and try to rebuild their life and and uh, whatever the game would consist of. I think it would make it a lot more like Minecraft if it were a survivor type thing, you know, survival, survival gaming. Okay, let's see. One of my favorite things to watch is uh, survivor, uh, survivor mode or whatever you call it. Um, it's not creative mode, it's survive, sur wait, what is it? Survive mode? No, I forgot what it's called. But the just good old fashioned Minecraft. Um, oh, another trouble, okay. Seriously, this is like the fifth or sixth troublemaker since I started building. <laughs> as soon as we lay this road down, we're gonna go and deal with him because Oh, those sounds he makes. He's so annoying. He's so annoying. Okay, so let's keep laying this down. So I find it's probably, or it's, for me, it's a lot easier to use the, um, when you're doing stuff like this, the WASD keys to move around and the control and the space, the space, uh, the shift to move up and down. Oh, that's kind of weird where the stairs are. Hmm. Maybe we'll change the stairs so they're a little bit different going onto the roof. Hope you guys don't mind all this babbling. Um, whoa. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm headed to VidCon and oh, what's happening? I'm headed, uh, I'm headed to VidCon in the morning, so I don't have the usual time that I have to edit the videos and speed them up. And, you know, do all that fancy stuff I do, and I really love doing that. In fact, editing videos is one of my favorite parts. Um, it's just, I really enjoy that part of it. Um, so, but it does take a while. I usually spend, on these episodes, I usually end up recording, I so I build for probably like four or five hours depending on what I'm working on. Sometimes it's less time, like last week took a lot less time, but usually it's at least three hours, sometimes four hours. And then obviously the video can't be that long because nobody would be able to sit through a four hour video of building Legos. I mean, I probably could, but not everybody can. So I shorten them down to like, you know, 25, 30 minutes. And I'm able to do that because I speed up all the building and I add music to it. So it's kind of fun to watch. Oh, no, whoops. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, no. Great. Oh, good, he fixed, he fixed himself. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I'm able to do that because I speed up all the building and I add music and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, otherwise, the videos would be too long, I think. But this one, I don't have the time, as I've said a million times. Sorry, keep repeating myself. But yeah, this is kind of fun, though. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Let me know what you guys think about all this babbling in, in, in the comments section. How you feel about um, episodes like this. Because if you like this, if you like me talking, then maybe I'll do, you know, just once in a while... I definitely prefer the other way because it's just, you know, more fun and, the video, you know, you can definitely sit down and watch one pretty quickly. Um, but I kind of enjoy this too. Kind of enjoy this. So I don't know if you guys know who um, Cupquake is. I has Cupquake on YouTube. She's got an amazing channel. She does, she used to do a lot of Minecraft Let's Plays and I watched pretty much all of them. 
She's just really fun to watch. She's really good at world building and she's got a great sense of humor and um, she's super fun. So uh, I follow her on Instagram and actually she follows me back and that's kind of amazing because she only follows like 600 or so people. She follows me back and so she posted and she's like, hey, who's going to VidCon? Blah, blah, blah. I'd love to meet you. So I responded thinking, oh yeah, she's not going to respond because, you know, she doesn't... She has so many followers and fans that there's no way she's going to see my my uh, message. But she did. And she responded. And she said, hey, I'd love to meet you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to meet Cupquake. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to her. I mean, I know what I want to say if she's not around, but it's going to be, I'm kind of, kind of fanboy out to her if I actually do get to meet her and say hi to her because... Honestly, she was a big inspiration for me because I saw her videos and that was before I had a YouTube channel. And I was like, this is just so much fun. I would love to be able to do something like this for people. Wow, that fit perfectly. I'd love to be able to do something like this. I'd love to be able to, you know, just create these worlds and have these people, you guys watch them and, you know, comment and help me decide what, what I should be building and, you know, make a whole story. And I just thought that was really cool. And then... You know, part of me was like, oh, I can't do that. You know, it seems like it's too hard, blah, blah, blah. And here I am, guys. I did it. <laughs> Follow your dreams. Do what you love, honestly, because I have never been happier in my life. And it's not like, you know, it's not like YouTube is making tons of money for me and it's not really uh, a career yet. That's what I want it to be someday. But it is making a little bit, little bit of money for me, so I'm able to spend a little more time on it, um, which is great because the goal, the goal is to quit my full-time job and to do this every day, eight or nine hours a day. Why is that music on? Oh, it's the chase music. I thought I was chasing one of the troublemakers. Anyway. The goal is to do this like full time, full time. And I have so many cool series planned. Um, and since you guys are watching, if you're still hanging out with me and listening, I'll let you in on a little secret here. I've got, um, yeah, well, several series planned. That's not a secret because I've been saying that a lot. But one of the series I want to do, these are all in Lego Worlds. And one of the series I want to do is a uh, fantasy type series with a medieval castle and dragons and a brand new series that's going to have just all these cool medieval elements and dragons and spells and uh, different character other than Sheila, different main characters and all kinds of uh, cool plots and episodes and stuff like that, its own music and everything. So I'm gonna start production of that probably in late July. And the first episode is going to be out in either late July or early August. Um, I wanted to make it really like cinematic, really like a TV show or movie type stuff. But um, I don't know if I can do that because that kind of stuff takes a lot, a lot of time. And I already spend a lot of time making the episodes that I make now. So uh, I don't know if I can make it totally cinematic. Um but it's going to be really cool. <laughs> so be excited for that. So there's that one and there's another series I want to do, but this one I still want to keep a secret because I haven't fully developed it yet. Um, and actually there's even another series other than that. And the other series I want to do, I'll tell you a little bit about this one, is going to be set in uh, the classic space or the space, um, the moon biome. And it's going to be sort of a sci-fi type series. So I'm developing the characters for that too. I've got big plans, guys. Oh my gosh, that took a while. <laughs> that took a while, but that was really fun to babble to you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it for a second here and collect my thoughts. Okay, so I ended up changing this just a tiny bit. Um... I didn't really like the way the column looked with it stopping right there. I kind of wanted it to go up a little bit further on the wall. So I changed that and I also built a section of wall here. So what we're going to do is we are going to copy and paste this around the building. Now the reason why I've built it starting here with the column is because that way if we copy this whole section we can easily drop it here on the next column and then the next one and all the way around the building. We'll have to change it a little bit in some places but that will get us 
pretty good portion copy and paste it. So let's go ahead and open up our copy tool. Oh, where is Max? <laughs> He's in the saloon. Okay. I'm going to pause it and we're going to run back up to the top of the building. You guys, Max loves to climb this building. It's a really fun building to climb. I mean, there's like, you know, plenty of places to grab onto. It's really, you know, it's not just a flat surface. <laughs> okay, we are finally at the top. And we haven't had a troublemaker bug us in a while, so that is fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and get the build tool out and let's copy this section. So we're going to use the copy tool. We're gonna to zoom out a little bit and we're going to grab the section that we want and drag down. And then we'll copy it. So let's see, how do we need to adjust this? So we don't need Okay, well, let's see. It needs to come further out this way. Yeah. Uh-oh. Looks like it didn't grab that piece properly. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we're gonna have to try that again. Maybe we'll try going from the ground part up. Let's try that. Let's see, did that work? Yes. Okay, now it grabbed that piece properly. Wasn't doing it quite right, quite right before. So then let's take this. And I think we already have up to the second layer. Let's see here. Is that the first layer? Okay, that's the first layer. So I think we only need up to... Let's just do the whole thing. Okay. Okay, guys, I think that is good. Let's go ahead and rotate this with the R key. And I think, I don't think, can we, oh, I guess we can. Oh, no, that's the corner. That's going to be different. Okay, so let's go over here and let's drop this down. And let's get this placed. Move it into position. Is that about right? I think, I think that is. Let's just see. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Nope. Oh, it's because I do have. To... Okay. Well, we'll fix that later. I just have to fix this part right here. Um, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that's going to be an easy fix. Let's just go ahead and keep moving forward. Get this pasted around. The building here okay let's see let's make sure it lines up mm -hmm. uh, yes that is lined up i think it's kind of hard to tell sometimes if you're if you're lined up properly or not okay so then we can go ahead and do this one too let's see let's see how this looks oh <gasps> Cool. I mean, of course we have to fix these, so don't pay attention to those parts. Um, that looks pretty neat. Yeah, it's better than just like a flat wall. You know, there's a little bit of variation there and we're gonna get some lights on there too because we need to light up this part of the building. Okay, so let's go ahead and rotate this and then we can continue pasting it around the front here. Let's move that into place. Yep, that's good. That's in the right place. There we go. So we're using our WASD keys to sort of move around. Now you have to be kind of kind of careful because even though I'm just pressing the D key, sometimes it'll move forward or backward and you just have to make sure that it didn't move out of place here. It won't move up or down, which is nice. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. It does move up or down if you um, cross like an uneven surface, like if there were a hill here or some more bricks on top of these, then it might move up and down. Um, so just pay attention. Make sure it's in the right spot because one uh, accidentally copied or one thing copied in the wrong place can be like, can mess up your whole building. <laughs> or at least it can mess up the whole section that you're working on and then it gets, you have to redo it all. So just pay close attention. To what it's doing 
Okay, so is that one more here? There we go. Okay, now we can rotate. And we can get this out of the building. This is gonna be cool, you guys. Wow, yeah, that's really neat. It's gonna be cool. So we're gonna we're probably gonna start the rooftop terrace right around uh probably like right above this level here. Okay. I just like it when buildings, when you see something different, um, depending on where you're looking at it, like, you know, I didn't want to just continue this same, oh, there's something we got to fix there too. I didn't want to just continue the same uh, exact look all the way up to the roof. I wanted it to sort of change up a little bit because I love it when buildings do that. Makes them, make, makes them a lot more fun to look at. Okay. Uh, yep, there we go. It's lined up, it's lined up. You guys look at the ivory tower back there in the background. So we're gonna have to upgrade the ivory tower after we finish building Jurassic World because it definitely needs an upgrade. <laughs> oh, whoops, see what I mean? See what I mean? Okay, um, it definitely needs an upgrade because we actually started building that uh, tower, that big white tower back when uh, the game like the very beginning when we first started playing the game. So we've definitely learned a lot since then and we could build something much cooler. So um, the ivory tower is super cool. I mean, look at it, it's super cool, but it just needs an upgrade. You know, it needs some, needs some detail. So let's see, I think we can go ahead and place this one too. Yeah, okay. So we're just copying and pasting or rather pasting as much as we can so we can save some time building so then we just have to fill in uh, some of these other spaces here okay let's go over here and let's see is that the right place yes sweet all right let's go ahead and do that and then this one too so you guys I love the music from Lego worlds I mean I never get sick of it I've been listening to it for a long time and I never get sick of it and I put it in all my Lego worlds videos because it's so good um, that's right. Yes. So we got to fix this though, because this whole thing is black and then it turned white. So we got to figure out what we want to do there. Um, I guess it could turn white there, but I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section if you think it's okay to have it just go from black to white, or if we should keep the black going up that column. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I like it right now. So let me know what you guys think. Okay, let me finish pasting this. Just a few more. Almost done. Yeah, okay, let's rotate it. Let's rotate it. All right, let's see. Uh, do we want to do, yeah, let's go ahead and do this corner one here. It's not really a real corner. Okay. Or I should say it's not an outside corner. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, oops. Man, you guys, it, sometimes it's kind of hard to talk and do something else at the same time. <laughs> sometimes my brain has trouble with that. Okay, so we, okay, is that right? Is that right? Yes. Let's go ahead and rotate it. And let's go ahead and drop that one down. And then this one. Nice. Okay. Yeah, and we'll leave the corner open because we're going to do something a little different right there. Okay, awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to fix all of those columns right there because that's going to get kind of boring. So I'm going to pause that and fix those so that they look like this and I will be right back. All right, guys, we fixed all those and look how awesome it looks. <gasps> look how cool they look, especially when the light hits them just right. This building is so beautiful. I really like it. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see, how do we want to light this? Uh, actually, maybe we'll wait, sorry. <laughs> maybe we'll wait a little bit on lighting because we need to fill in um, the rest of these walls. So let's go ahead and fill these in and then we'll figure out what we want to do with lighting. We'll probably do something similar to what we've done down here. The lighting makes it look, look much cooler, you guys, because look at that. If this surface didn't have all these cool lights in it, I'm telling you, it wouldn't look nearly as cool as it does now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead, let's see. So what do we wanna do? We need to copy 
can fill in this section. So why don't we just, because we're not sure what we want to do with these columns yet on the corners. So why don't we just go ahead and switch to our copy tool here. And let's copy just the portion that's between the columns here, because that can fit there easily. Okay, so then we'd want to copy this. Go back. Whoops. Try that again. Here. So we want to go here, out that way, and then this way. Probably till somewhere in there. Let's see how that looks. Almost. Let's go ahead and take this side in a little bit. Whoops. Oh. Okay. Let's move that. That. So you want to pay close attention to where it's cutting the blocks, but it looks like that's even. It's not cutting the blocks in any weird places. Okay, so then let's go ahead and drag the bottom here so that it just gets to our little plates there. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Then let's go ahead and rotate this. We should be able to place that. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that looks so good, you guys. It's looking amazing. Okay, then let's see. Will this fit over here? Should fit, because it's like right in the center. Yeah, yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, then let's go over here. You guys, this is looking so cool. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, wow, I love this building so much. Okay, so the building, if you guys didn't know this, and I don't even know if I've said this yet, but the building is heavily inspired by um, a movement called Art Deco. Um, and Art Deco was really popular as a design movement, and it was really popular in New York City and in uh, Miami in like the 1930s and 1940s. Now Miami Art Deco was very different from the New York style Art Deco. So the New York style Art Deco and actually Chicago um, was a lot more like this. Um, really like intense movement, jagged lines, lots of, um, um, what am I trying to say? Lots of like zigzag lines and um, it's very like animalistic and very kind of like um, sort of, it, what, how else would I describe that? Um, Oh, there was like a lot of like uh, exotic uh, type patterns and stuff. Um, so just like heavily, just like heavily influenced by movement and action and stuff and lots of uh, ornamentation on buildings. And that's kind of what I wanted here to go for a similar look to that because I figured that would look really cool in Ivory City, um, especially with the white. And it would be a little different than what we've built otherwise so it adds some nice contrast to the city okay let's see yeah that looks great okay then let's go over here and let's rotate this then we just have to figure out what we're gonna do on the corners and then we can start lighting it how cool will that be all right and let's rotate rotate let's move that backwards a little bit and over perfect is that in the right place yes okay and I think we have oh, is that all the spots. Oh, there's one right over here. Okay. Then we just have to figure out the next part here. There we go. Okay, I think. Nice. So that is all. That's all the biggest parts of the wall. Why couldn't I get over there? Oh, yeah, those corners are different. They're inside corners. Okay. So actually, we're going to have to design an inside corner that we can repeat around the building and also an outside corner. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it for a second just so I can figure out what I wanna do in these corners. And then I'll be right back with you guys in two seconds. Of course, it'll seem like zero seconds to you because I'm gonna pause it. <laughs> okay, so this is what I decided to do with the corner here. I think it looks super cool. So let's go ahead 
and copy that corner to the other corners around the building. All right, you guys, those corners look awesome, yay. Okay, let's go ahead and figure out what we wanna do with the inside corners right over here. So I'm going to lay out a couple of options, figure out my favorite one, and then I will be right back. Okay, so this is what we decided on for the corner. It sort of mimics the design of the rest of the building here, and it looks great. And also, I'm pretty sure I wanna paint these black. So all right, let's go ahead and do that really quick. Let's use our paint tool, select our black color, make our brush much smaller, and let's just paint this and see how this looks. Yes, perfect. That looks awesome. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. I'm glad we're painting that. <laughs> I like how I asked for your input in the comments, but I'm like, eh, I'm just gonna make the decision right now and paint it. Okay, let's go ahead and get these painted. Yeah, that looks awesome. I think it'd be really cool to build like a black skyscraper too, all black. I think that'd be really neat. Okay, uh, let's go over here and let's paint this one too. Perfect. Yes, that's beautiful you guys look at that That is so pretty. I love this building Okay, let's go ahead and copy this corner and paste it in the other corner All right, I think that is perfect. So let's go ahead and rotate it and let's go and place it Oh That's right this corner is different and we've actually already built something here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in these bricks right here. All right, I think both sides match and both sides look amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, I wish we had more time to build more in this episode, but it's getting late and I actually haven't even packed yet for VidCon, so. I need to get going. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you aren't already because then you can follow my adventures in California and VidCon and you can see what I'm up to and you can see the awesome YouTubers that I'm meeting. So definitely do that, follow me and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys, bye bye.